Um, I don't believe it. <laughs> Bit shocked, actually. Yeah, I can't believe it. Um, I think she's looked after the country over some pretty difficult times. Um, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Um, because she said she'd never resign and she's not the type of person that, well, to me anyway, that would give up on her country. So you are a bit surprised, are you? I still don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> what? We've just heard the news that Jacinda Ardern has resigned. What's your reaction to that? Sorry, I didn't even hear. I haven't heard the news. Sorry, too busy. Oh, that's um, right. What's your initial reaction to the hearing that? Oh, a bit shocked, actually. Yeah, I can't believe it, if that's uh, really the case. Oh, man. I, I thought you was all good. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I liked you. I thought everyone else liked you, man. Well, what, what, why'd you do that? Well, I think she needs a break, to be honest. Yeah, she's done a lot. So you're yeah. not really, you're not that, you don't sound that surprised? Um, well, I, I don't think she was um, doing very well in the polls anyway, so, you know, it's a good time for her to sit down. Yeah, oh, it is, is a surprise. Um, I think she's looked after the country over some pretty difficult times, so, um, yeah, kind of wish her all the best mm. for the future. I think she's done an amazing job with the situation she's been put in. Wow! What's your reaction to that? Just wow, I wonder why. I think basically she said that she couldn't give her heart and soul to the job anymore. It's been pretty tough the last wee while. Fancy that, that's such a surprise. I've got, yeah, surprise is yeah, what yeah. my reaction is. This summer I had hoped to find a way to prepare not just for another year, but another term, because that is what this year requires. I have not been able to do that. And so today I'm announcing that I will not be seeking re-election and that my term as Prime Minister will conclude no later than the 7th of February. This has been the most fulfilling five and a half years of my life, but it has also had its challenges. I know what this job takes and I know that I no longer have enough in the tank to do it justice. It's that simple. 1st February 2023, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman will present the last full union budget before 2024 elections. India's most awaited financial event comes in the midst of global slowdown, inflation, liquidity tightening, geopolitical tensions and re-emergence of COVID-19. Will India look to fire up its manufacturing? Will India build a moat against global uncertainties? What will the budget have for the middle class? Watch the complete coverage of Budget 2023. Real-time analysis, expert takes all day on Money Control. Log on to www.moneycontrol.com for more.